Yo, what's up and welcome back. Uh, before I get into today's video, just wanna show you something. Um, I like supporting fellow magicians when they have cool projects and my friend Mathieu Biche has a project on Kickstarter. Check this out. These are shelves uh, that look like a floating deck of cards on the wall. So basically you just slide your favorite deck of cards over this little shelf and then you can stack other cards on top of it. And it looks kind of cool. I thought I'd, le I'd leave the link below and let you guys uh, go and grab one for yourselves. They're not that expensive and the project is not yet funded. There's one day left, so I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that you guys pull through, buy a couple of these, and, uh, and help out a fellow magician. That being said, today we are looking at something I was very excited about. This is the Slammed Car by Juno. It won the Grand Jury Prize at the IPP 39 in 2019. Person had permission by Juno to go ahead and print this because the wooden ones were made in such a limited quantity. They're very, very hard to come by and sell for now thousands of dollars. I picked this one up for a couple hundred bucks on an auction site and it's a sequential discovery puzzle, which means that there's a sequence and there are tools to be discovered. So go ahead and leave a like, subscribe if you're new here. Let's get into it. Here it is, uh, the Slammed Car by Juno. Now, as I mentioned, this is a 3D printed version. This isn't the uh, the original version. That version I, is very hard to come by. It costs probably thousands of dollars. This one cost me a couple hundred bucks. Uh, but this was highly praised in uh, the puzzle world for being one of the coolest sort of solves in a sequential discovery puzzle. So it kind of looks like a little toy car. Now the wooden version is all wood. I kind of prefer the uh, the printed version because it has colors now. Look at these gold plated mags, the windows, very cool looking. Yeah, here we go. So let's see what moves. I see, okay, so there's a lot of parts that move. I already see the back panel shifting slightly. I also notice the top here probably slides off. Oh, this uh, mirror moves. This mirror comes out, it has a magnet. Okay, we have our first tool. Uh, the wheels also spin. We got, this says IPP39 here. Oh, which you can push in. Oh. Looks like that opened something here. Oh, what the hell? going on here try and grab it oh no don't know what's going on here <laughs> it keeps there's like this crazy mechanism that keeps pulling it back in it just goes in by wait I move the tire and that made it move back. Oh, the tire locks here. Oh. Weird. What if I keep this pushed in? Oh. Oh, wow. So there's this little flap in here that has a magnet. That's a cool little feature. That's the hood of the car. And on the inside here, as you can see, we got the bumper, which is laying around here. Oh, which has magnets on it. Lots of magnets and a wrench. We got a wrench. That's cool. Wait, does the wrench even come out? Does the wrench even come out? Well, the wrench is kind of stuck. There's like these grooves that are here and here. On the wheels, there's like this little peg that uh, that made the uh, trunk lift up, I guess. Let's get this wrench out of here. There we go. Now I see this here, which looks like it would fit the wrench. And there you go. 
the other mirror pops out. Very satisfying movement here with the wrench. And what does that do? Is that this looks spring loaded and it is slammed car. I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, naturally I had to, you know, well, it gave us this Another license plate back here. So I can like push this in and then maybe I can do something with the roof here. There's a small little wooden block in here this here and I can like pull it up but I'm not sure I should here gotten it out well it is held by a magnet this little beige thing down there shifts from left to right as well maybe I just have to like barrel roll it you know maybe a little drift action Tokyo Drift, you know? So the only things we have right now are, like we have all these tools, obviously. I don't know if these are reusable or not. This license plate as well uh, can be pushed in, but not so much that uh, it does anything, just a little bit, so you see that it can be eventually. So what's interesting is that when I spin that, this little indented license plate actually comes out a little bit. like a little bit. Difficult to really know what to do at this point. Again, that little beige box just moves side to side ever so slightly and up and down, but nothing really attached to it, it seems. Um, this we pulled out, it seems like just a random piece and it does fit in there with a magnet. If I turn it around, it's just loosely in there because the magnet's no longer attracting anything. This has to be used somewhere. Why would this come out? Why would this just be in there? Everything's happening in the back end of the car right now. I just don't know. I don't know what can make it. <clears throat> what can make this part open? Okay, there's this like tunnel that goes all the way down. Maybe I just have to like line up all the pieces. Cause the only, could this, oh, that can actually fit. Okay, so let's say I get this one down there first. Let's try that. <laughs> it's worth a shot. This one down there first. This one down there next. And this one. Ah. So we've gotten this piece out of here. What does that do? There's a magnet in there upwards, and I guess that was just to hold this, but I'm wondering if I have to like reverse the polarity on that magnet somehow. Okay, we got springs on the inside here and here, upward springs. So, what if I, ah, if I go down. So when I pull, when I pull down the trunk here, the back visor, you see that there's something in there. There's like a material that's wedged up into this part here. And I don't know what to do, nor if that come out. Now I know that there's springs here, so those springs are meant to be pulled down. But once they're down, this doesn't want to come out, and I don't know if that's normal. Oh, that comes out. That oh, that's what I was seeing up there. Oh, 
Okay. Now there's another hole here. What could fit in there? I'm guessing this. One of these is going to wedge into that hole, I'm guessing. So I'm noticing the wheel as well has like a notch, as you can see right there on the axle right there. And that is actually, it's hitting something. Now that it's hitting something, I'm wondering what I have to do once it hits that. So right now it's on it. Oh, this comes out. Hello. Okay. So on the inside here and this hole here, you can see there's like a little, another hole that goes further down. I'm just wondering what it is that other hole's purpose is. This thing still won't come out. I'm not sure how the top portion is still stuck on. There's gotta be something I'm missing here. Now, why would this do that? Why would this, why would this? <sighs> this is tough. It's a very difficult puzzle. What would you do right now? In the comments, what would you do if you were in my predicament? Okay, so with this little hook here, I was able to press a button onto the right of this shaft here uh, by turning the wheels. Now I've locked it locks that see if I let it go no well now the buttons actually compressed in there there we go now it's undone now I'm pretty sure that that like that's the last little thing because there's really nothing else to discover until that does something there's a small bolt here on the inside I don't know if you can get a glimpse of that but there is and I can push it aside with this uh-huh now it's opening a little bit but it's being stopped here so maybe I need to now do this. Oh. I'm supposed to do all these things at the same time. Yes. Oh. A little turtle. That is our prize, a little turtle. Ah, so here we get to appreciate some of the inner mechanics. This here is on a spring. A little spring that pulls it back, which is connected to this part here. Now this part was then connected. So you had this part that was connected to the back door uh, here, uh, sorry, here. And then this, this little switch. So, so allow me to demonstrate if I push this in halfway and turn the wheel other way. Look at that it comes right down. However, if I push it too far, it doesn't do anything. Crazy. Oh my God, look at all these pieces. All right, let's get this back together. Boom. Uh, this should be easy enough to get back in there. 
just like that. Boom, that's done. Next was uh, actually this one and this rod, which I thought wasn't used for anything, actually turned out to be a valuable tool. Good to know. Here, this went down. Wow. This then went in here. Boom. This, nope, yeah, this license plate here. Uh, which one was it? So this one was right there. And then over here in the front, we had this battery, which I still don't know exactly what the point of was. That went in there. You had this guy, which went in the front here. So many pieces, crazy. Boom, you had this guy, and then I needed the wrench to cock that back, put that back in. This guy went over here, uh, this way. Boom, boom, I had the wrench here. It's really a, an ingenious design here. I'm just trying to find a way to get this wrench back into place. So that was there. <laughs> the wrench is like the hardest part to get back in. There we go. Wrench is in position. Boom. Slammed car by Juno. Just about two, two and a half hours to solve. Pretty cool puzzle. Extremely difficult. I'd say like a difficulty rating of like nine and a half. Very difficult. Fun nonetheless, my brain is done. Well, hot dang. That doesn't sound good. Antoine. Oh, there you have it. That is the slammed car by Juno. Two and a half hours to solve. What a headache, but honestly, very ingenious that every single little part in this little toy car uh, serves its purpose. Like you have, well, almost every little part. There are a few things that I'm still confused about, that little gray battery, for instance. But yeah, the puzzle itself is really cool and I can see why it won an award. It's pretty solid, not gonna lie. I gave it some taps and, and it, it withstood the test and now I have a little toy car. $400 toy car. Like this video if you enjoy the content. Uh, subscribe if you're new here, and we'll see you on the next video. Oh, sure. Peace. Peace.